What's all the fuss about with All Saints? Is it actually worth the price? Is it worth the hype? What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Right, so today we've got a huge All Saints try on haul. I've actually only ever done one All Saints haul and it wasn't the best. I slated All Saints quite a bit. So I wanna see if it's actually worth the price, if it's worth the hype. Because I do get a lot of messages saying you need to try All Saints, you need to try some of the new stuff, you need to try some of this, some of that. So let's get straight into the video guys. If you do enjoy it, don't forget to drop it a like, subscribe to the channel for plenty more videos like this. And I'm gonna link all the All Saints stuff in the description down below so you can go and have a look if you do like any of the stuff. Let's get into it. So quickly before we do get into the video guys, I've got a new release coming for Sulfur Clothing and it's these pants, right? So the material, I've been trying to source this material for ages, it's like a nylon elastane blend, so stretchy, so stretchy. They're a bit more of like a slim regular fit so they're not dead tight towards the bottom of the ankle, a little bit more relaxed in a really nice charcoal colour got zip pockets they're going to be called the sport tech pan going to be like perfect for playing golf going to the gym or just like daily errands as well so a really nice pair of trousers pants joggers even you could call them a track pan i'm a massive fan of them so these will be coming very soon to the sulfur clothing website make sure you keep an eye out i'll put the date on the screen of release here go and follow us on over on instagram it's just sulfur clothing as well but yeah i really like these pants super comfy you know so first up we've got the Ramskull t-shirt just in white, little logo on the left chest there. This is in a size extra large and it is definitely on more the slim fitting side. So last time I do remember All Saints is very slim fitting. So I think it is, it's more designed for like athletic, slim, skinnier build guy. Straight off the bat you can tell that straight away. So I do quite like the fit of the t-shirt, I'm not going to lie. The material is very thin, I will say that it's quite thin material. I do like my t-shirts to be a little bit thicker, especially when we get into towards winter as well. But it's a nice fitting t-shirt, it's not too bad. I think the t-shirt is £28. So on the bottom we've just got some black joggers. Got the minimal branding just on the left leg underneath the pocket. These are in a size large. Actually a really, really nice fit. You know, they do feel like a quite they do feel like a high quality cotton. Really comfy. They've got a nice cuff towards the bottom as well again very slim quite a skinny fit so just bear that in mind if you are going to get anything from all saints i'd definitely take your neck size up that's just my personal preference if you prefer a tighter fit go to your size but if you prefer it to be a little bit more relaxed not as tight definitely size up but yeah the joggers are nice 75 quid it's quite a bit of money for a pair of joggers isn't it? it's quite expensive 75 quid the quality is good and the fit is decent as well so don't know if I'd say it's 75 quid's worth, but overall, quite a nice pair of joggers. You guys know I'm proper into my jackets, and bomber jackets, I absolutely love them. I've got so many different ones in my wardrobe. I thought I'd give the All Saints one a go. So this was 139 quid, definitely on the more expensive scale. Definitely. Size extra large. To be honest, guys, I can't fault it. It's a really nice fit. I do like the material of it, the look as well. But... Oh. Is it worth 139 quid? I suppose that's the question you ask about a lot of these designer higher end brands. I know All Saints isn't like a Givenchy or something like that, but it is definitely more on the upper side of price. Do you know what I mean? It's similar to Reese, I'd say, in pricing, isn't it? Definitely higher end. But it is a really, really nice jacket. It's got the little Ram School logo there. Yeah, again, for me, it does just come down to price. like. I know you can't really compare it to Zara because it's completely different. It's definitely better quality than Zara and the price is a lot higher. But you could get the same jacket from Zara for 30 quid. Yeah, the quality might not be as good, might not last you as long, but it's 30 quid. You're saving 100 quid. You could basically buy four jackets for one. So it's just weighing up whether you want to invest in something that's really, really good quality that is going to last or go for a bit more variety in your wardrobe by like getting a few different bits. So next up guys, we've got the hoodie to match the joggers. I thought I'd try and get a different garment from you know each individual section, so like jumper, hoodie, jacket, jeans, joggers, that sort of thing, just so we can get a good review basically of All Saints, but this is a very nice hoodie. So a size extra large, 85 pounds, matches the joggers which are 75 is quite a nice fit this is actually isn't this actually isn't too slim either which is more my scene i definitely prefer hoodies to not be as tight not as slim 
I can't fault the hoodie at all guys. It's a really nice quality, very good fit for me. I prefer a bit of room in hoodies, do you know what I mean? It's just got the, the minimal brand in here. Yeah, quite nice. You know who I kind of compare All Saints to? I'd say it's similar to like represent pricing wise and similar quality, I'd say. I know they're very different. They are very different. All Saints has been going for ages. But that is another brand I kind of see which is quite similar to All Saints. Yeah, I do like the hoodie. Quite a nice tracksuit to be honest. It's just pretty expensive, isn't it? 160 quid for a tracksuit. Quite a bit of dough. You know what I still can't get my head around is how popular All Saints is. Like so many people, especially here in the UK, when you're like going out to the shops, going to Trafford Centre, going for a meal, even on TV, are wearing All Saints. You see this logo everywhere. It's actually mad. I wouldn't have expected it, you know, to be honest, because it's not my favourite brand. It's definitely not. This polo shirt has summed it up for me. For the price that you're paying, I think there's so many better alternatives out there, like Reese. I think Reese is so much better than All Saints. Arn even, I know Arn's probably not gonna be the same quality, but in theory, it might actually be just as good quality. For the price, I just don't think it's worth it, you know? Like, there's better brands out there. The polo shirt is nice, but the colors are tiny. Like, it just looks a little bit weird. Um, this is extra large. Fits quite nice, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, I just don't think there's much about it that like makes it worth the price and the hype. I'm not sure, maybe it's just me, but let me know in the comments guys if you are a fan of All Saints as well. Right, so the jeans, just some black jeans. I think they're a bit more of like a slim regular fit. Quite comfy to be fair, they've only got 1% elastane in, so they're not the stretchiest. Um, but if you're more into your straight jeans with a bit more excess material at the bottom, then these ones might be for you. Again, quite expensive, so just bear that in mind. There are other ones out there but these ones will probably last you longer yeah just pairing them with some converse because they are very very long so i probably would get them tailored if i kept them but yeah don't get me wrong it's not bad like all saints is good the quality is nice but i just feel like there is better brands out there other ones and i don't really get the fuss and the hype surrounded by it maybe it's just me We've got a sweater next in this nice, like, dusty pink colour. Again, the small logo just on the left chest. This is actually in a size large because I think the XL had sold out. It's actually quite a nice fit. The quality of this does feel nice. Feels very nice. This was £72. So, again, definitely on the more expensive side. But it's a nice sweater. There's not really much to complain about. Kind of looks a very similar colour to uh, my skin tone, doesn't it? Kind of blends in a little bit. But yeah, it's quite nice. So last thing we've got guys is this relaxed fit shirt in a size extra large. Again, nice checks going across it. Definitely is more on the relaxed size. As you can see, it's quite long in length on the arms. I actually really like the fit of this, you know. I know it's not the most flattering if you go to the gym or something and you, you want to be seen, but I think it's quite nice. It's £99 though, so bear that in mind, it is expensive, but I do feel like the quality of the shirt is quite nice. It's superior. Yeah. I, I am getting into my oversized like fits now. I definitely prefer like an oversized hoodie or oversized sweater. I think it does look nice, especially if you've got some pants that are like slim and then you've got up top which is a bit more oversized. I think that can be a really good combination. But yeah, this actually might be one of my favourite things, you know. It's a little bit different, maybe something I wouldn't usually wear, especially the more relaxed bit. But if you wore like a, a white t-shirt underneath this, it would be a really nice outfit. So do I think All Saints is worth the price and the hype? To be honest, no, I actually don't, honestly. I've done two videos, two hauls on All Saints now and all the stuff I've tried on is nice. Don't get me wrong, like I, it is decent stuff, but I just don't think is worthy of the price. I actually don't. I think there's so many better alternative brands out there. Some of you might disagree with you, that's fine. Everyone's got their own opinion. But in just my opinion on trying on so many clothes over the past three, four, five years, I've tried on some amazing pieces, some really good quality stuff. 
And when you compare it all and you just like a mental block in your head, it's definitely not up there in terms of my favourite brands. It's actually not. And I just I don't think it's worth the price. I think Represent is better quality. It actually is. I think Reese is better quality. I think Arn is better. I just do. But yeah, I'm not slating the brand at all. I just don't think it's actually worth the price. And there's just definitely other alternatives out there that are better. Simple as. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already. And I will link all the items in the description. Because don't get me wrong, some of the pieces were really nice. I just don't think it's worth the price. But yeah, that is it from me today, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. See you later.